reps. What's up guys? Liam here and welcome back to LSJA TV. That was set number two on 90 kilos. I'm trying to maintain as much of my strength as I possibly can on the bench. So I'm not letting myself go below 90 kilos even if it does only mean doing six reps. Might do another set. Uh, no, nah, actually I probably won't. I'll just stick to three sets because we're getting plenty of volume in with this program. Uh, we're going to be doing a chest walkthrough today because we're back in the home gym so we're going to film a nice walkthrough. No worries, no one telling me to stop recording. This is our own little space. It's going to be a good one. Drop it a like. Let's get it started. Next movement is a low row. More often than not this is done on the machine. Because we're in the home gym we haven't got a machine. So we have to use a plate on the floor right there just to steady it against the machine where you can put your feet. Using a wide grip today with a hammer, hammer, uh, well yeah, wide hammer grip. Horseshoe grip I think this is called. are literally the bane of my life. Doesn't matter how many times a week I do them, doesn't matter how many times I try to push past my sort of max, I either tend to be getting heavier and so my strength doesn't go up in line with that weight, or getting lighter, my strength goes down to, I don't know, it's one of the first thing, last things to go on in terms of pull-ups and one of the first things to come off. Um, similar with my bench press. That pretty much, well, what was the last thing I got? 100, 100 for four or five reps, pretty much just at the end of the bulk. And here I am, sort of, about a month into the bulk, only managing to do, how many reps? Like 90 for six maximum, right? Um, so the principle of it coming, you know, you've heard it in like workplaces and stuff. First in, uh, last in, first out sort of thing. If you're the last one hired, you're the first one to be sacked. It's pretty much the same thing with my bench press and strength in general really, like my shoulder press has gone down ever so slightly, not like by sort of two and a half kilos, but it's still some. And um, the bench press is the same principle. I can no longer really bash out 100 like I was towards the end of the bolt because it was the last thing that went on in terms of strength. Um, so it was the first thing that came off, which is, I'm trying my best not to let it get to me because I'm trying, like I said earlier, I'm trying to not go below 90 just for a little while. Um, keeping that strength as high as possible, um, just as much as I can really. There's not, there's not much else to say other than I'm doing my best to, to keep it high. But um, like I say, it does, you've got to not let it get you down because it's a part of the process. And at the end of the day, I'm still seeing progression in one way or another. Just because I'm not seeing progression with strength, I'm now seeing progression with weight loss. So you kind of have to take the small goals and rather than think, oh, you know, a month ago I was benching 100 for this. And instead of letting it get you down, get you down and then discouraging you from training. And then all of a sudden you don't bench for two weeks because you haven't gone to the gym and you can only bench 80. You know, you can't let it discourage you because it's all part of the process. Doesn't matter how much comes off my bench press, but at one point in time I couldn't even do that for one rep, let alone five or six or eight, you know, however many I'm doing now. So you've just got to have that positive mentality, 
be surprised how much of a difference it makes. Chest flies. Not an exercise to go heavy on, that's for sure. A lot of tension on the shoulders if you go too far back, if you have it too heavy. There's lots of variables that can actually make chest flies bad for you. Um, I prefer doing it on the pulleys, on the cables, um, just because I hate doing it with dumbbells. I feel like there's way too much strain, way too much stress on the shoulder. I uh, just feel a lot more in control when I do that, which allows me to focus on the movement a lot more. So it's a lot better for me to do it on the cables anyway. Another thing, I'm wearing my favorite vest. Um, and the reason for that is, there's probably a few of you thinking, God damn, is that all you wear? Because I've had a few people say it to me, if I'm being completely honest. But the reason I do it is so that when I come back to places like this, I can then look at myself in the mirror and think, in the same light, in the same space, in the same absolutely everything, I can control the variables, the variables as much as possible. I can then come back, and when you haven't seen yourself in that place for a little while, you can come back and think, yeah, you know what? I've made some progress here, because I came back the other day, had my arms on the bar, and just noticed that, that you know they'd filled out a little bit, the shoulders, a little bit bigger, a little bit rounder. You know, small victories, but victories nevertheless, because I can then track that progress from six months ago, from a year ago, wearing this same vest, and see that progress in the same light, the same everything, and just, it can be an honest transformation. So, that's why I do it. If you want to be a bit leaner, you'll be able to see exactly how this works, but... So many people in the gym complain about shoulder health, complain about their shoulders hurting. But they're doing bench after bench after bench, shoulder press after shoulder press. And not counteracting that with pull-ups, with upper back work, with trap work, but in particular, rear delt work. It's another thing as well, people always say, Liam, how do you get your shoulders to be so round? And one is genetics, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, they're not necessarily lean at the minute, like, but they will be, they're, but they've always been round. Another reason for it is because I train the friggin' hell ah, out of my rear delts. I always, never, 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 never fail to hit red, rip their red delts, to hit rear delts in an upper body session. fun stuff done and that is the workout done smashed some arms at the end a couple more sets of triceps left but that is going to be it for the video guys oh I'm out of breath that was a long set I hope you have enjoyed this video I've not done a walkthrough especially especially in the home gym for a long 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 time it's one of my favorite videos to make just because it's so easy simple can provide such good content and I just have fun filming them because that's what it's all about really, isn't it? So, drop it a like if you have enjoyed it and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Thank you to all the new subscribers that we've had over the last few weeks. You guys are the best. If you're still watching now, 
drop a like and a comment down below to let me know that you're still watching. You are the true OGs and the supporters of this channel. So I thank you so much. Whew, I'm out of breath still. As always, remember, no regrets. Together, we will grow. Six weeks left now. See you guys next video.